Alright, today we are doing bunker missions. Now, I just completed a bunker. I got a guy's armor. I've got several heals and um, weapon magazines, at least five of them. Let's see. Well, that's not the right gun, but um, <laughs> but they are equipped on my character's body. Uh, the inventory is just being weird. I don't know why it says I have five of those, but you can see 30 out of 120. It's, it's proper. So I've just uh, selected another contract, and we are starting today's video with 141,000 UEC, which is the money in this game. Now, <laughs> I actually, I'm gonna admit something. I, I actually recorded that entire bunker I just did. And, uh, whoa, there's a, there's a Titan Avenger here and the wings are all like weird looking, like bumpy. And this one, this is, this is mine. Uh, I don't know whose this is, but um, maybe it's also mine. <laughs> maybe I was gonna make a big box out of it, huh? No, we're not doing that. Okay, so. Uh, fun story. I recorded that entire other bunker, but for some reason uh, my microphone wasn't working, so I had to throw away the footage. Just uh, throw it into the wind. To just see you later. See you later, bro. And away we go. We're just gonna fly straight into the atmosphere. Atmosphere is at 9,000 altitude, by the way, for Hurston. I don't know if it's the same for every planet. I, I really don't know the rules on that. I haven't tested other planets or moons or anything, but we won't be able to use our fast travel quantum drive warp until 9,000, so we're just going to hit that 9,000, that's 8,500, that's close enough, we'll close to that 9k, and there we go, turn this on here, and we're going to teleport to HDSF Hendrix, I don't know what that stands for, HDSF, uh, Hurston Defense Security Foundation, uh, whatever, it, it's not important, What it, what is important is that it gives us money, it's going to give us money so we can play around with warships in the game or whatever the heck, right? Which is, uh, uh, again, I, I've, I've done this multiple times, and this is the most secure way of getting money. I know that sounds weird, but, like, if I crash after doing a mission, it's no big deal. The money's, the money's in the bank, you know? Uh, it is secure, whereas uh, if you're mining that whole hour that you mine, that money's not going to be super secure. That money is... <laughs> Uh, absolutely not secure at all. Because until you get it back to a base or sell it or whatever, you don't get that money. And if the game crashes and you, you have to do a character reset, it's gone. It's gone forever. Right? Alright, so we, uh, this is the part of the game that I don't really quite enjoy and I want to upgrade this. Like, right now this Titan Avenger is my fastest ship that I have. Um, I think it takes too long to go from quantum travel to flying down to the bunker. Like th this right here, I usually just alt tab and check YouTube or something. I'm not really super engaged here. There's not a lot for me to really do. Just uh, turn on the cruise control, point it at the at the damn bunker and then just wait. Yeah, it's just a nice little waiting game here. You can see my altitude dropping and the distance. We've, we've just breached the clouds here at the top. Uh, so yeah. Not much really going on, just flying the ship. Woohoo! You can kind of zoom in and see where the damn turret is located. That way we can park behind it. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're coming in. Coming in, woo! I'm gonna go ahead and kill that cruise control, and we just need to coast right behind it because we are approaching from the front. So I already have the landing gear down, it's fine. Just kind of swivel it on around here, and. Uh, Flying gets kind of difficult if you're still loading in the zone, like, the the frame rate drops. Like, your ship's still moving, but you can't correct, do any corrective measures if you're stuck with zero frame rate. Alright, so land it, and in we go. So, just to time it here, to fly away from one bunker and land to the next, that was four minutes. And we're not even in the bunker yet. We just gotta run in here, gun all of the dudes down, and get paid for it. Which means we can make 15 to 20k every, what, like 5, 6 minutes, something like that. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it. You can do like 5 or 6 bunkers an hour. It's in 10 hours, you can max your rep. One, literally one setting. It's a pretty easy rep grind, honestly. Elect illegal occupants. So, what we want to do, make sure we don't shoot the yellow boys. But you also don't want to shoot the non-purple guys. Like, they'll, they, they won't be in armor and they won't have guns. They'll just be like little wages or maybe they'll have mohawks or something you don't want to shoot them but uh, if you do it's it's mission failed and crime stat and go to jail and eat more of your precious time 
All right, we are in the bunker. Yeah, man. Purple man. Boop. Now, now you got to be careful with these open elevators. You may think, hey, that's where the bad guys come in, and it, it is. Sometimes there's yellow guys in there with them. And there we go. We have uh, <laughs> taken them out. Just uh, we're just like John Wick in this shit, right? We just go in the bunker and we just—it's uh, like we're in an action movie, uh, a sci-fi space thriller action movie with low frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> a restricted area, my dude. And I know a lot of people are like, bro, why don't you reload? It's because I want to make the most out of my weapon magazines. Because um, if I reload now, then uh, I'll be stuck with a magazine of only 13 later on. And is that a tool crate? You shouldn't do this, what I'm doing. No, don't grab that. Put that down. That's a helmet. Someone was here, and they dropped a helmet. Oh, ew. Did I dupe helmets? Uh, I don't want to store it. I am stuck, in, yeah, just throw in the, there we go. And for some reason it refreshed my, oh, yeah, there we go. That's the gun we have. This is the proper one now. Still one dude left. Let's go hunt him down. I thought that was a tool chest, and I was going to get me a little grav gun. Really cool. It's, like, I, I find it rare to find the grav guns. Anyway, we're, we're just killing time here. You know, we uh, <laughs> just took a little break. Purple? Boop. I, I guess I missed. I clipped his ear off. Anyway, so that's objective completed. Let's uh, swap to our other one, which is fully loaded. There we go. And off to the next bunker, because that was 20k. It's not bad. Now, that means that the 20k is currently, you know, off the table for a little while. But we have a 15k right there. Uh, yeah, so we just have this 15k. We're going to go do that. Sometimes there's a 22k one that will be available, but... um. We're just going to be doing that. We're not even looting. We're not even trying to, you know, fill our spaceship full of goods, you know, to store at the uh, at the harbors, at the towns, whatever you want to call them. And sometimes, like, the wind blows you or something. There's, like, a little glitch. Knocks your character around. I don't I don't get it. But, yes, this is, we're, we're just farming. This, this is Star Citizen farming. This is, like, to me, so far that i found. This is... For new players, for people that don't have big ass ships, I don't. I don't like farming the the space battle missions because they take forever. All right, they actually take quite a while, and the reason why is you have to fly to a certain area to, you know, do a little do space dog fight with um, an, an NPC, but you can't just warp there and be done. It says someone has radar lock on me, and uh, well, I don't see anybody, so whatever. Don't know what that's about. Probably just a glitch. So, uh, yeah, we are going to the next mission. Same deal. We're going to fly up to 9,000 and then quantum warp there. And, and that's pretty much what we're doing this whole video, maybe. I don't know. We might get into some trouble later. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll find out. Whatever I feel like, okay? All right. Cruise control off. And the screen turns red because of the G-forces. It's a whatever, but... So yeah, those dogfights, those uh, space bounty missions where you had to go fight some other spaceships, you know, uh, y you can't just warp directly to them like you can these bunkers, for one. You have to, like, warp near them and then cancel your warp when you think you're over the target. And instead of flying 20 meters to a bunker, you're flying, like, 2 to 300, not, not meters, kilometers. You're flying, like, 2 to 300 kilometers to the space battle target. So that takes even longer, and the reward is only like 4,000 when starting out. Yeah, later on it gets more, but you need better ships to do them more quickly and efficiently, right? Uh, I think they go up to like 20 or 40k, but again, I'd rather just do the bunker missions. I am way more confident in my ground combat abilities, uh, <laughs> just because a lot of the ships that I have aren't really meant for combat, I guess. Alright, we got our cruise control on. Let's hit those boosters. Boost, boost, boost. Yeah, man. And away we go. Uh, 19, 18, 17. It's a slow descent. It's whatever. And we need teleporters, you know? Like, just beam me down. Beam me down in front of the, the, the bunker. Give me a stun gun. Stun one guy, then curb stomp him, take his guns. It's that easy. Yep, yeah, it's that easy. Let's take a look around, take a look at 
the pilot. This is really cramped. Like there, you there is not room in here to stretch your legs at all. Uh, very yikes for me, dog. Like I, if I couldn't straighten my legs out, and that's the noise of a radar lock, which I don't know. Whatever, it's probably just the turret or something. It's kind of a long range for the turret to have a radar lock in it. Whatever. I swear I had camera shake like I got struck, but it didn't. But the AI didn't tell me that you know shields have been damaged. Okay, we were actually behind it the whole time. Okay, I saw that one hit. That totally hit, but it it didn't register. Am I am I immortal right now? Because that would be fun. <laughs> uh, bug makes player immortal. He goes on massive murder spree. Just ram all the other ships. And landing gear down. Y you can actually land this ship that I'm flying without the landing gear down, but I'm afraid it'll bug out and blow up, so I don't want to do that. So I play it safe. I play it as the devs intended, sort of, kind of. You know, use the landing gear, don't want to miss the paint job, even though we just summon a new one every single time we play. <laughs> the only time you ever get your actual, like, cannon ship, your actual ship that you're supposed to have, is assuming it doesn't die or get lost or stranded somewhere, so it's whatever. And then we just go into this bunker, do the same thing. I wish these other buildings nearby had like a use or a feature or function. I also wish that I could take this elevator faster because it's kind of slow. I, I get that it wants to be realistic, you know, but... You know, like, why can't this be the bottom floor? Just like a few feet down. Why is it so deep? Why do we go down so far? Who built this? Why'd they build this? I wish I had a bunker to live in. That would be freaking cool, man. That'd be pretty epic. Unless the power went out, then you have to climb out. That would suck. Alright, you are yellow. You're also yellow. Cool. My yellow brothers. I'm lagging. When I hear gunshots and then my game freezes, like, it's panic mode for me. It's like, well, I guess I'm dead because the game won't let me move. And, but the AI can move. They can they can run around. It's like they freeze time and then just gun you down. Boop. <laughs> I wish there was like really fun melee weapons in this game, right? That's an LMG guy. We didn't like I would take his kit if I wasn't already kitted, you know? That's the one we were looking for in the in uh if I even filmed that. I don't remember if I filmed that or not. Nice, he teleported forward. 13, I'm watching me ammos. Yellow bro is hunkered down. Looks like there's something going on down below. There's a, the, the AIs are very engaged today, it seems. Like, most of the time they just stand around and stare at each other. Oh, come on. See, he's... he's hello, zoom in. Hello, game. Wow. Like... <laughs> Uh, if the AI would stop <laughs> stuttering around like it's a horror movie. You're a yellow guy. Why does he retreat? And why does why does the hostile's remaining number not consistent, you know? Oh, come on. I was shooting his, like, cape halo. I'm trying to preserve the ammo. Well, he just threw his gun. He's like, fuck this. Uh, I'm trying to preserve ammo, and it's being kind of cringe. Like, I am burning to, through way too much ammo too fast here. Like, it should only be a few bullets, but because I keep teleporting around due to, I don't know, the game's reasoning? Whatever. Oops, see, look at that. We should just be able to one-tap them. But yeah, let me get a big fancy melee weapon. I want to come in here with a space hammer or a lightsaber or something funny, you know? Something, something pretty cool. Alright, and that is the mission. We have two magazines left. I can maybe swap for LMG now. None of these guys had LMG. Where was that LMG guy? Let's see. That is LMG guy. He's oh he died. He died on his knees. Creepy. All right, so let's uh, let's swap it out. We're gonna take this one that we have in our hands, and this is gonna be thrown on the ground. So we don't want this one. Blech. Just just discard that, and then we're gonna go ahead and equip LMG here. Yoinkers. We're gonna loot our big boy here. Take his magazine clips and that, should, that ought to do it. So we got 21 and then uh, 360 there. So we are very well, very well ammoed for quite a while for more bunker runs. Yes. Hopefully they're not all laggy like this one because this bunker was kind of spooky with how they were teleporting around and 
Yeah, don't want that. And away we go. Everyone's saluting in the chat. What's going on? Weird. Omega Spleen. It's like Omega Mart. Let's see. Don't We don't want to do these guard... Look at that, 75,000? You would think, hey, that's pretty cool, right? But it, it bugs out. It, it just bugs out so damn much. Let's see. Oh, man, we don't have any of the, the 15 or 20k ones. So what we got to do, because we're doing, the, we're doing these too fast is what's happening. So instead, what we can do is loot the bunker. We can just go into the bunker and start pulling all the stuff off the bodies until the 15 and 20k ones appear. Or we can just fly around and uh, do something else. Usually what happens is if the 15 and 20k ones aren't appearing as often, it's because someone else is also doing them on this server. So that could be what's happening. But... You can also just chill in your ship and AFK and watch anime until the the other quests show up. That's that's another option. But um yeah. Just to make things interesting, should we do the 75k one? Uh I don't know. I I'm I'm generally not like super for it. Uh drug stash takes way too long. You have to smash like hundreds of boxes. It's abs it's terrible. Same thing with nar narcotic stash. You don't want to do those. All right. But uh, these guard against hostiles, it's, um, that's just a threat, the hostiles. That means they're already there, usually. But, oh, see, it changed. Elict, elict, evict illegal occupants. There we go. It just changed over. Lucky us, and we're already in the ship. We're ready to skedaddle on out of here. And cruise control and turbo boost. Get that 90 degree angle. Yep. It's like a, a little planet over there, moon or something. Yeehaw. Actually, we can probably see... Yeah, that's Aberdeen, the moon. Can see what the hell that little thing is in the distance. If you see it, you can go there. Unless it's a town, then the game will be like, Autopilot engaged. Can't go there, son. Haha. <laughs> Lol XD. And... Yes, there it is. We're going to Damaris? Damaris? I don't know how to say it. More money, more contracts, more shooty guns, splat, splat, pew, pew, ping pong. Not ping pong. That requires hitting a ball back and forth. Or Yeah, that's ping pong. Ping pong cable, ping pong ball. You know, those uh, those little balls that college dudes used to, like, throw into red cups for, like, some sort of alcohol game? Like, they just need an excuse to drink or something. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's, like, a social... Uh, like, they're just trying to be social. I, I don't know. I'm not a college bro. I don't go to college. I don't know college dude bros. Like, if I'm ever, like, talking... Like, in real... I'm very weird, okay? If I'm ever talking with someone, and I'm like, Hey, this is a pretty cool dude. And he's like, Yeah, I went to college. I'm like, Nope. Yeah, I don't... I'm not in that cast, bro. I am not in the upper echelons of, um... Of wealth. So... Uh, it would It would never work out, you know? Just, just wouldn't be able to be friends with anyone that went to college. Yeah, I know. It's it's whatever, man. It's painful to both of us, but that's just life. This is how it is, man. It's just, can't really help it, you know? Unless everyone has access or, you know, the money to be able to access it or whatever. It's just, uh, they'll just look down upon you. They'll just, they'll just be, uh, it's just not cool, man. It's whatever. <laughs> what is he talking about? This YouTuber's lost his mind. All right, we have approached the bunker, and we have actually managed to get behind it. It's very cool. Engage the landing gear. Landing gear deployed, yes. Can we speed land? I wish I could speed land, but I'm too afraid of crashing the ship and everyone getting exploded. And by everyone, it's just me. It's, you know, there's no one else with me. There's no secret guy hidden in the back compartments off camera that... It loots all the bodies off camera or something. It's a shame that the guns and the, the armor don't sell for more. Because it would make looting the bunkers worth it. Like, I used to do that too. I would Every bunker I would clear out, I would like strip every person in there of all of their belongings. Load it up in the ships. Take it back to town. Sell it all. Like, I wouldn't just do one at a time. I, I would do like one at a time, then two, and then four, and then eight. And see how far I can go before the game crashes, right? Sub-level 01. Shabba level This one has a slower aim-down sight speed, which kind of sucks, but it has so much more ammo. Uh, and the bullets tend... It, it, I think they do more damage. 
I don't know if like bullet type or caliber is a thing in this game. I know it is in Tarkov, but a light in real life, a light machine gun is going to just absolutely destroy anything it it, it hits. Those things are like meant for like sieges. There's a guy. I hate when there's a dude in the middle. It, it messes up my like feng shui. Okay, it's hard to see if he's a fucking purple guy. I I don't want to shoot until I can confirm they're purple. Absolutely, gotta confirm. That's a that's a purple guy, and he, that's a purple guy. He just locked on to me too. That's I that's scary when they lock on like that. They they snap right to you. I don't like that. That's another purple guy. You can't like suppress them either because you know <laughs> you would think you could just shoot at them and they'll stay you know behind cover until so you can approach them. But now they'll just pop out. So it's whatever. I hear him. I, I'm spending way too much ammo. I think it's uh, how snappy they are. They're, they're like spooky mode. That's a per see. See what I mean? He, like teleported over. Okay. Well, mission complete. We we can just leave. We can just get out of here. That took what half? Whoa! Respawns. A lot of respawns. <laughs> it's free money. Hello, guy. Jeez, come, come on! Those, those are each worth five hundred, by the way. So that was five. Ten, that that was like two thousand easy. So that that was the majority of my bullets. <laughs> he wasn't dramatic enough for you. You had to like get stand back up and die again. Jeez, again, really spooky stuff, man. <sighs> I, I I need another LMG guy to loot so I can feel ammo secure. No, you're not a heavy. But that's hey, that's another 500 buckaroonies. That means the top. I didn't even reload, and it says I have full ammo. See, that was one bullet, and it counted as two. Are seriously? I just got the game just stole a bullet from me. Chris Roberts, you owe me. You owe me one ammo. You owe me one bullet. No, no, not in that context. Don't, don't take that the wrong way. It's be, it's because I shot one bullet, and it took two, so he owes me one bullet back. Okay. Jeez, gosh. Not trying to say one thing or the other. Sometimes LMG ammo is in here, so I'm going to check it. Shotgun ammo. Well, there's, there's, yeah, shotgun, yeah. Dang it, come on, man. Make it where when you push escape in a game, it closes the damn menu. Here's another one. Let's see what we got in here. That's a pistol. You know, I'm going to take that pistol. And that, well, I don't have room, so never mind. Pistol with no magazine. Well, let's get at it. Damn, that's another one. This place is loaded with gun crates. Uh, custodian SMG ammo. Oh. All right, let's get on out of here. Let's uh, let's mosey on out of this base. But yeah, big money in that one, huh? L a little spooky though. Let's see, is another one up? Assistant defending site. Yes, of course, of course. Hmm. What's our money up to now? Our money is up to uh, 60, 607k. Right. So we made what 60k already in 23 minutes. That's actually pretty good. That's um, that's much faster than normal. I'm gonna say that right now. That is, we're we're ahead of the the farm bell curve of sorts. I don't know what the next ship I want to buy with in-game money is. Um, maybe like the fastest one, so I don't have to, you know, spend all this time floating down to the planet's surface. I don't. I think that's the slowest ships and the fastest ships. There's not like a huge differential to it, you know. Can we enter ship? I hate that I have to click it twice. I know sometimes it works once, but whatever. This is, uh, this is how we make our monies. Yeah, just farm 10, 10 to 15 hours to get all the, all the 2 million ships, you know, the, the 2 million dollar Rooney ships. Which are more than enough to tackle most of the game's content. It's when you, it, like, if you want one of those, like, 20 million sh dollar ships, holy crap. Like, it gets pretty nuts. During the free fly week, uh, there were people that were flying around in those trying them out and I didn't think they were anything special I thought they were just kind of boring like for me I want to fly the zippy little fast ship I want to be you know in, in something small and fast and powerful I don't really want to fly around a giant space fortress with a million turrets and a whole bunch of hangar bays and other crap 
I know a lot of people do. Like, they want to be like, I want to fly a Star Destroyer. I want to fly that big-ass ship in Star Trek. It's like, no, I want to be like the little jet. Just give me, like, a, a Vic Viper from Gradius, you know, or something. <laughs> Uh, that would be pretty cool if somehow they got like a Vic Viper ship where um, you can poop out little orbs behind you and whatever you shoot, the orbs also shoot. I don't know if anyone's going to you know get the reference of Vic Viper or not. It's um, Is it R-Type or is it Gradius? I think it's Gradius is what it's from. It's the Konami one. Little side-scrolling ch chump, shoot 'em up whatever, whatever the freaking game genre is called. I don't know, man, but... All right, next bunker. Next bunker, indeed. Does anyone else do that? It's like, hey, I'm upside down, lol. And I'm like, no, let's correct it. Now I am right side up. That one slowly turned for some reason. Didn't turn as fast. Hit the afterburners. We're going in. Yeehaw. I know a lot of people are... They're buying bombers right now because... There's something coming to the game called Jump Town, which is like a, it's like a ground mission. It's not a bunker. It's like, there's just a bunch of bad guys on the ground, and there's some buildings. So the bombers just nuke the whole place and complete the mission immediately. I don't, I, you would think that a bomb that would blow up such a large city or whatever would um, cost a lot more than what you would earn from the mission. But I don't know how that stuff really entirely works. So it's... I, I know there are some ships in the game that they're cheaper to just destroy and then replace in the in like the little computer than it is to park it and try to repair it. Let's see, we're approaching the front, so I need to go scoot around the back. Yeehaw, scooting around the back. Landing gear deployed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in case anyone's wondering, I'm scooting around the back so the turret doesn't shoot me because sometimes the turret will become hostile. And then it will shoot your ship even if you are not in it. And that would leave you stranded and that would end your farming runs. So that's why we park behind this little hump in the building. So that the turret doesn't be like, hey, what the hell are you doing back there? And starts just blasting us. Later on, the bunkers have four turrets, so you kind of have to kill them. But then you aggro the guards if you do that. And it's... It's whatever, maybe they'll fix it one day. But regardless, it's something to do, man. It's like, it's what? It's like 100 degrees in parts of the world. So people just stay inside. And in the game, in the game world, it's 29 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Hmm, probably hot. Probably pretty hot. And here we are, another bunker. Again, we're just blah 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 blapping. Hopefully, this one is not filled with horror movie um, monsters that can teleport and zip around and uh, you know just just appear in your face or you know come off a crowded elevator and <laughs> take a million bullets to the head. <laughs> All right, I see a purple man. Boop. I see a yellow man. Again, we gotta confirm their colors before firing. Are you purple? You y'all are. You're like a white and yellow guy. It's it's really hard. I hate that these have guards. I I, I just w wish I had bunkers where there was no guards, so I could just kill everything that moves. I'm like a like a bloodhound or something. No, not a bloodhound. Those are for smelling. Like w a creature. Whoa. Good shot there, comrade. Even though you stole my 500 bucks. Um. You're yellow, right? Some Colors are hard sometimes. That's yellow. Jeez. Like, colorblind people, not gonna have the most fun time. Regardless, let's, uh... Yellow? Dang! <laughs> it's like, I've only killed one dude. I've only got one guy downed. Sometimes there's a dude back here. Like, usually behind this little crate. Yep, there he is. He's, he's trying to hide. That's another 500 for the pile. That's an LMG guy. We definitely want to get his money. He's like, come on, hurry up and die. Stop being dramatic. You too. Yep, go to bed. Go sleep. Hey, hey, hey. That's enough That's enough out of you, man. And uh, don't mind if I do. Let me just uh, violate your bot. Hey. Okay, so we got to do a little ammo management here. And this sucks because, um, well, there's still a dude alive. So he could just run up and kill us while we have our inventory open. Like a like a little troll. 
So we're going to go in the corner, corner here. And we have to find our ammos that has nothing left. So this one is 7 out of 120. So we're going to throw that on the ground. That's 120 out of 120. So we're going to hold on to that one. All right. Again, ammo management, the game. Not as bad as Tarkov, but still, it's still like, still kind of screwy. And yoinkers, there we go. Now we have more bulletarinos for more bunker runs. Yes, indeed. Safety first. That's what the wall just said. Sometimes there's a guy hidden behind back here. Uh, yellow is shooting at over here, maybe? Normally I have my headphones on so I can tell. What, oh, I guess they killed them. Okay, well, mission complete. Nothing to see here. We still get paid for it, even though... Man, Yellows did a big cleanup job on that one. Clear all hostiles completed! Woo! Wowzers! Get that, uh, get that next mission queued up. Elict Evigal... <laughs> I can't ever say the quest name. <laughs> I said Elict Evigal Occupants. Evigal. Hey guys, it's the Evigal Eagle here. It's the lockpicking Evigal. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even the same word. Oh, jeez. I'm. That's how my brain. This is how your brain works on YouTube, guys. If you want to be a YouTuber, this is what happens to your brain. It just turns into mush. That's what happens when you play Star Citizen too. You're. You're. This is like the inside of my brain. See how dusty it is and shit blown all everywhere. It's a good thing we have a helmet on, even though you can like. There's plants in the ground, so you can clearly breathe here. Bunch of cactuses, man. Just imagine all the little cactus prickles. Pricklies stuck in your body armor. What the hell? I teleported. <laughs> I teleported into the ship. Oh, that's weird. That. Whoa. Whoa. We didn't have the the top of the ship closed. Okay. Oh man, it's getting buggy. It's getting scary. <laughs> Imagine if real life still had glitches. I mean, yeah, there's glitches every once in a while, but it, they're not that bad. Like. Y'all remember the glitch, um, spontaneous combustion? That wasn't fun. I mean, just imagine, you're just chilling, like you're at school and you're just, like, doing your, your schoolwork and then suddenly you just combust. It's over. <laughs> you have fun re-rolling a new character. Unless you have, uh, the perk, uh, Quantum Immortality, where you just appear in someone else's multiverse right when you die. As if nothing happened, but then you start noticing all the stuff that's getting, like, weird and changed uh, I think the last uh, what Mandela effect that people have noticed is um, okay in Home Alone 2 the the guy that's like he, he's like a, a hotel employee in Home Alone 2 I forget his name he's been in a bunch of movies uh, apparently in some people's universes he died in the universe I'm from he got really sick he didn't die but I remember, I, I log into the internet one day, you know, logging into the internet. God, that takes you back, doesn't it? Back to those AOL free CD days, to the dial-up days where you had to log into the internet. It wasn't just always on and flowing forever. But, um, yeah, so, I, you know, I, I log into the internet. And uh, <laughs> everyone's talking about him, and they're like, I thought he died. Oh, he did die. I remember the news stories. Ooh. And then, of course, you know, the powers that be are like, oh, um... Maybe we should cover this up. So they, they post the news stories about, oh, it was just an internet hoax. He never really died, lol, XD. Even though it was like in 2020. Yeah, so they sit on that for two years to just to say it's a hoax. Nah, someone fired up the Large Hadron Collider and merged dimensions again. That or... Or me. Something happened to me, my health. Maybe I died in my sleep and here I am in this new dimension. Making Star Citizen videos for you guys. Which, um, yeah. <laughs> what are all the swole bingies doing in the different dimensions, man? I, I tell you, man. We're probably all YouTubers. Some more successful at trolling Reddit than others. I haven't I haven't made Redditors mad in a long time. I gotta figure something out. I don't know what I should do. I, the only thing that I can think of right now is I could I could I could log I can log into Age of Empires 4 and wall off my allies in a 4v4. And just do that and until Reddit gets mad. And but the thing with the Age of Empires 4 subreddit is, is it's so small and inactive, it wouldn't get that many updates. So I gotta I gotta find something to piss redditors off. One of my one of my fellow guild members pissed off the Star Citizen redditors because he said gamer word, and it had like a hundred updates or no hundred comments. I don't know how many updates. 
uh, it freaking has. But yeah, they're like, oh, why do I report this? Ooh. The, the funny thing about that thread is that that dude that took that screenshot sat on that for two weeks. Because that shit happened two weeks ago. Because I, I was playing when he said it. And he didn't give a shit. He's quitting the game anyway. It's whatever. But, um... I'm, I'm in this screenshot, too. I'm, I'm, I'm in there saying, Freedom of speech, dude. Freedom of speech. Right? Uh, just trying to get some, you know, some some of the piece of the troll pie, right? Try to get people upset. And, and one Redditor did get a, upset with me, which is, um... I, and a few others didn't mention me by name, but they were like, Oh, that's not what freedom of speech is. <laughs> so... I, I managed to get a couple paragraphs out of some redditors with just by typing what three words in a video game, and doink, and oh man, he passed the core. Oh, he suddenly became self-aware. He's like, oh shit, my allies are dead. That, what was that gunshot? It wasn't. It wasn't a car backfiring. <laughs> Imagine the dude just turns the corner and blasts you in your your gut. Are you are you yellow? You. You're you're purple. Good. Why, what are you aiming at? Why is there guns over there? So many questions. Eh, cover me, dude. Help me. I'm a guard in a in a bunker. All these bunkers are the same. No one here. Yeah, I, I gotta find a way to piss off redditors. Not not by saying gamer words. Okay, that just gets your account banned. And and the uh, the fellow guildy who said the gamer word, he is banned. So don't worry about it. Seething little redditors, you got you got your wish. He's, it's like what forty five bucks. These dudes that I play with, they have freaking fancy ass jobs, man. They make hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting around in an office all day with stress free, air conditioning, free coffee. You know, literal. <laughs> they have it made, okay. They get maybe like one or two phone calls in their eight hour shift, and they don't even answer them half the time. Like, imagine being able to work a job like that. Can you imagine? Well, I guess if you're watching a Star Citizen video, you probably have a job like that. I come from the underbelly of retail, okay? I don't qualify for those fancy jobs. There we go. Whoa, look at that lag. Holy crap, what happened there? All right, well, that was a pretty easy bunker. But yeah, yeah. imagine having a, a cakewalk of a job. Like, these... <laughs> Oh, man. Well, you work retail, you get work to the bone, you work 12 hours a day, drive two hours, job, freaking... It, ugh. Blech. Blech. I try not to complain about retail in every video I make, I swear, guys. Alright, so. But yeah, imagine, you show up to work and you... It's already like lunchtime, and then you have your lunch, you talk to your co-workers. Oh, here's the one phone call. Okay, you, you tell the person on the phone what they want to hear, and then you clock out, you go home, and you make more than enough money to be able to eat at every restaurant every day of your life if you wanted to. You can afford brand new cars, multiple, multiple new cars a year if you wanted. You can afford to travel anywhere in the entire world without it without worrying these fancy office jobs have the health insurance to ensure that if you have a heart attack and you need surgery that you're not suddenly bankrupted and that you're not suddenly out all of your money and pro poor and broken on the street you're not living paycheck to paycheck unless you're like really indulging yourself okay these people can drop thousands on cruises on on casino visits they can drop thousands on virtual ships and star citizen it's insane It's really, it's really crazy how unfair and unequal the world really is. And, and no one really teaches you this. If you grow up poor, well, guess what? Poor people don't... Like, before the internet happened, a lot of people in my circumstance or situation had absolutely no idea that there was such a pay discrepancy between, like, people, right? Like, uh, growing up as a kid, you know, you thought that a doctor... Well, you knew that a doctor got paid more than someone that worked at a grocery store... But you didn't think they got paid like 40 times more an hour than the grocery store employee. 40 times more an hour, okay? And of course, it gets even worse with CEOs and that kind of crap. I mean, you know, they make like 165 times an hour what the original wage he makes or something. And yikes. One fun stat to look up is um, 
it's like how much does one employee make the company in revenue per year okay the retail company i worked at it used to be like 40 or 50 thousand right that means the, the little janitor you know that works his butt off cleaning up the store would make the company fifty thousand dollars a year with his labor now it's up to like two hundred twenty thousand. isn't that crazy how it like quadrupled but they're paid it in quadruple they're paid it in even double you know what they got they got uh like they got a five cent raise and during the sick times i'm not gonna say what that means but you should know what it means they got hero pay which was like an extra dollar a day or something stupid like that it was really pathetic but they're making the company four times more money it's insane it's ridiculous it's unfair Uh, anyway, but yeah, it's, uh, y you can't expect the office wagey to, um, treat the, the low down worker bee wagey with any kind of respect because they just make too much damn money. They don't, like, they, people don't see me as human. I am just a creature to them, just a little, gr little goblin, little, little internet troll goblin, you know. Alright, let's just scoot behind the building here. Yep. And don't want to crash, but kind of want to, you know, at least land a little bit faster. Whoa, now, let's not blow ourselves up, okay? We came in a little too fast. But hey, we're fine. No no damage detected, right? We just got slapped around a bit by whatever this little hump on the ground is. This weird little circle that's probably going to misangle my ship when I land it. Okay, so now we're going to land it nice and proper on the, not on the box. Okay, good. It feels like I'm a little crooked, but it's fine. It's it's okay. The ship isn't going to blow over. Yeah, it's just, it's insane, you know? Like, maybe as a... There's nothing you could really do about it either, because once you're, like, born into the lower caste, it's almost impossible to claw your way out. And I know the, 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 the all these stories of people that have done it. it, it <laughs> the majority don't. The absolute majority don't. So hopefully by watching this channel that one day... Depending on how old this video video is, I might be able to claw my way out of poverty. Maybe. Maybe one day, instead of having 64,000 subs, I'll have 640,000 subs. Which, uh, let's be honest, let, let, let me fill you in on subscriber counts. Subscriber counts haven't mattered on YouTube for a very long time. At all. Okay? Uh, it's all about your your daily view count, your hourly view count, your weekly and monthly view counts. That that's what matters on YouTube, not your subscriber counts. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, only like 500 subscribers watch each of my videos, and I have 64,000. So, 5,000 of them are still like alive and clicking my videos. The other ones, they they don't watch the videos. They just don't. It doesn't interest them. Yo, he's like being a baller, holding that gun with one hand. There's a lot of yellows in this bunker, and I have not seen any purples. Well, you know they're around. Whoa. Purples. That's a purple. That's purple. Stop dodging. You're not allowed to dodge. And teleport. Shoot him in the butt. I really don't want to hit any yellows. That's why I'm being very careful with my shots. I gotta confirm that guy's purple first. Confirm that guy's purple. There we go. Ten shots. It's time to reload. It's going to be our first reload in quite a while, actually. Very cool. Very nice. Did you do this? Did you kill this dude? I just want to put one bullet and make sure that he's not knocked out. Because sometimes they're just knocked out. I don't know why. Yeehaw. Oh, okay. So I'm wounded, so time to heal? Yeah. There we go. All right, that's the first wound of the video. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need your heal now. Excuse me. No, I don't want to drag the body. Let go. Don't touch him. Do not touch. Do not redeem. All right, give me your your heal. There we go. I heard that elevator door open. Oh, you could have shot me, man. What the fuck. That guy had a clean shot. He decided to let me heal though. What a what an upstanding honorable combatant. Or maybe he hesitated. He's like, I don't like being a criminal. Stuff's getting real, man. I don't like being a crim. A little crimmy crim. That is, is that LMG? Nah, it's a shotgun. How disgraceful. 
That's he. What color are you? Yellow. Okay. Jeez. He's hauling balls, man. He's he's huffing it. He's running. He's rushing. Are you LMG? Nope. Shotgun. Okay. Is there a dude across there? I wish these guys would like home. Like he's pointing like down here. Well, just gotta keep running around until we find the last remaining dude. Or until more spawn in. I like the ones where you just go in and you just, like, there's just one guy left alive for whatever reason. And you just immediately win the mission. Those are the cool ones. And... What's shooting at? That purple? I can't fucking tell. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Hello? Okay, well, whatever. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, yeah. <laughs> I sprayed right into him. None of it hit. I, I, I swear I had it centered. Man, I wanted to make this an hour long, but, um, I can't check how much money I have because, um, well, whatever. Uh, I can't check my money because I'm currently dead. So we're going to see how much money we earn. Uh, did, I, did I kill that dude? Did he run off? If he, he was the last one we had to kill to get paid. So here's the thing. Like, even if you die, like, what did I lose? I lost stuff that I just looted. I started the video with, what, the basic helmet, the spacesuit, which is free most of the time when it's not bugged. And I had a light armor and one weapon. So, like, 2,000 credits, okay? And we started at 540,000. Well, you know what? I, that the video I tried to film, that's what we started with. I had I had sound audio problems. <laughs> as soon as the game loads, we can have, you know, something to look at on the screen here. So, let's see our our ending money at four, what 45 minutes is how long I lived. I normally don't die to these things, but this specific server that I'm playing on, these dudes are teleporting around. They're being really wonky. Really really laggy and stuff. I don't know. It's just it's creepy. All right, let's see what we ended up with uh, in this 45 minutes of farming. It, I did start at 520,000. This video started at 540,000, and now we're at 666. That's a fun number. All right, so there you go. We um, It's about 140. I, I was averaging about 140K an hour with, with, with that pace, sort of, kind of, not really. I don't know. It's 120k in 45 minutes, okay? And then in another 15, we could have blown away another 30k. But you get the point, guys. Um, thank you for watching yet another bunk. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> He's like, man, I need to get in this room. <laughs> but there's a, a gurney blocking it. <laughs> hey, uh oh. Uh, oh, no. Wait, why did that open? I didn't push that button. No. Don't do that. That's scary. Don't open menus when I don't push a button to do it. Okay, can I... Yes, I could actually <laughs> jump over. Can I grab it? Is there not a grab function? Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, I laid on it. Okay. Well, well, is... <laughs> I fixed it. I unblocked it. Hey, I unblocked it, man. You you can you can go through now. Yes, come with me, and you'll see a world of imagination. <laughs> oh oh, dang it! I was gonna get him on the gurney, and then I was going to, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this dude. All these dudes checking their phones. Stop playing on your phone. Ugh. Look, oh, he's gonna hit. Whoa, I just took damage from that. Interesting. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm so bingy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This one is just like about to explode. It's like rumbling. <laughs> Uh, send me to the moon. What is it? Why are... What is going on? Are the NPCs tipping them over? Is it other players doing it? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure that you're subscribed because I got videos every single... Mwah. I'm going to give you a kiss. Mwah. 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 <laughs> mm. Uh...
Uh, make sure, yeah, like I said, make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. Okay. Uh, let let me just just let me know. I don't know. What do you want to What do you want to see me do in this game? Okay, there's not a lot to do right now. Just look at things. Ninety seven degrees Celsius. The fuck. For coffee? Wouldn't that like burn your bones? Burn burn the skin off your bones? It's too hot. I think that's too hot. I don't know. I don't know Celsius. I'm sorry. Are you a real person? You are a real person. Holy fuck. I can push you around too. And push you around. <laughs> uh, scoot him into an elevator. I think they're AFK. Okay, let's push him in the elevator. Uh, yeah, no! Don't, don't move! Stop moving. Stop it. Stop moving. Are, is that a person doing that, or is it the, the game resetting their position and making it look like they're actually moving? I don't know, it's, it's weird. Whatever. They, they refuse to move. Ugh. What if I run? Oh, I could give them a big push if I were- Yes, get in the elevator! Get in the elevator! Ugh, get in the elevator! Elevator, come back. Surely this person's not moving. <laughs> uh, are, are they even seeing themselves move on their screen? Uh, so many questions. Yeah, I don't think that's a real player resetting their position. I think... Uh, like, the NPCs, you can't, you can't push them around, but these characters... Maybe it's just a server thing. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, if you want to leave a monetary donation, click the things button down below. If uh, if you want to be a monthly subscriber, or I'm sorry, a, a channel member, it's five bucks a month. You get access to private and personal videos. Uh, one of them is how to be a YouTuber, how to make, edit, SEO, tag, title, thumbnail, all that kind of fun stuff for, for YouTube. So I think it's worth five bucks. Uh, there's, a, there's a members only playlist in the pinned comments. So check that out. And, ooh, we got, we got some armor. Uh, storing is unavailable. Sure, okay. Well, I'm just going to take this free loot here. And, uh, yeah, let's grab it. Grab the arm armor, of course, of course. And yoink it into the ether. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what is up with all this arm armor that someone just left out, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Hopefully it's not some bugged weird stuff that's going to, like... Ruin my character forever and prevent it from loading. It's a trap. <laughs> this guy. Uh, keep your neck straight, bro. You're gonna give yourself uh, some problems. Who th who who would just throw this this arm armor on the ground, man? Whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Become a channel member, five bucks a month. It's pretty cool, man. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next time. I don't know what to do in this game. I'm just kind of messing around. Do not block with crates. Maybe that's what they were doing. They were trying to block something. All right, and I, I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Take care. Take care, lads. See you tomorrow. Woo! See you later. That guy vanished. Whoa! Oh no, he just teleported forward. I, I must be on a laggy server or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna blame the server lag for me dying. Take care. Mwah.